Welcome to your City of Greensboro Weekly Flash Briefing. After a nationwide search, Dr. Danielle Harrison, who has served as the Interim Executive Director of Guilford Works, Guilford County's Workforce Development Board, has been officially named the Executive Director effective February 22nd. Having served as the Deputy Director since 2020, Harrison will now provide executive and administrative leadership in an official capacity. Additionally, she will continue implementing the Workforce Development Board's mission, vision, and strategies, including the promotion and support for the Board's advancement of economic development and workforce strategies and programs. Dr. Harrison said it's an honor to lead this organization, especially since its services were a resource to me earlier in my career. As a result, this gives me a unique perspective to ensure our workforce system is innovative and takes a holistic approach. Harrison began her career working for the North Carolina Department of Public Safety and has taught career-oriented curricula at both Davidson Community College and Virginia College. Greensboro residents are encouraged to review and comment on the city's home ARP allocation plan, which outlines the distribution of $6.6 .6 million. Home ARP is awarded to jurisdictions to reduce homelessness and increase housing stability. Input can be shared in writing or verbally by 11.59 p.m. on Friday, March 3rd. All comments will be considered prior to any further action by the city towards plan implementation. The city intends to submit its home ARP allocation plan to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development on or before March 31st. For more information, to share comments, or request a hard copy, contact the Housing and Neighborhood Development Department at 336-373-2349. Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson will host a series of community meetings beginning Monday, February 20th and continuing through Thursday, March 9th. These meetings are designed to give Chief Thompson and his leadership team an opportunity to connect with residents in each district across the city. The community is invited to attend and engage with Chief Thompson, ask questions, and offer input on a variety of topics. Each meeting will take place from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Registration is not required and residents are welcome to attend a meeting on the date and at the location that is most convenient. The meeting on Monday, February 20th will take place at the Barber Park Event Center on Barber Park Drive. The meeting on Thursday, February 23rd will take place at the Lindley Recreation Center on Springwood Drive. The meeting on Monday, February 27th will take place at the Glen McNary Library on Lake Jeanette Road. The meeting on Thursday, March 2nd will take place at the Peeler Recreation Center on Sykes Avenue. The final GPD community meeting will take place on Thursday, March 9th at the Griffin Recreation Center located on Hilltop Road. Interested in places to go and things to do in Greensboro? Prepare to mark your calendar for all the great events happening this week on the town. Lovers of cars and gardening, these are just a few activities available on the town. Kids between the ages of 1 and 5 and their caregivers are invited to a story time and art making on Fridays, now through May 26th at the Green Hill Center. Doors open at 10 a.m., the story starts at 11, and the cost is $7 per person. Visit GreenHillNC.org for details. Check out the latest show cars, a swap meet, a benefit auction, and the 2023 North Carolina Drag Racing Hall of Fame ceremony at the 20th Annual Shriners Drag Racing and Hot Rod Expo, February 17th and 18th at the Greensboro Coliseum Special Events Center. Tickets cost $15 per day. Visit Shriners-HotRodExpo.com for more information. Learn how and when to get your garden growing on February 18th at Lake Townsend. The City's Parks and Recreation Department hosts a free program at noon, which will discuss starting your garden, and how to compost in your own home. Register online for this outdoor program at greensboronc.gov. The Greensboro Symphony Orchestra and Master Chorale perform a German Requiem by Brahms on February 18th at the Tanger Center in downtown Greensboro. The concert starts at 8 p.m. and tickets cost $35 and up. Visit greensborosymphony.org for more information.
The Carolina Theater hosts the 5th annual Hope Fest for Hunger fundraiser on February 19th at 2 p.m. The International Dance Festival boasts different cultures, plus refreshments, raffle prizes, and a silent auction. Admission is free, and proceeds benefit local charities fighting food insecurity in Greensboro. Learn more at carolinatheater.com. Stay tuned to FYI Weekly for more happenings on the town. This concludes the weekly flash briefing for the city of Greensboro. For in-depth news, tune in to FYI Weekly on Greensboro Television Network on Spectrum, AT&T, Lumos, and Roku. Keep up with the latest city news on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to download our weekly podcast, Talk City Greensboro, and Connect GSO. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next flash briefing.